Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla, here to talk to you about Vance & Hines 30 horsepower kits for Harley Touring Bikes. You should be looking into a Vance & Hines 30 horsepower kit if you have a Harley Touring Bike and you want 30 more horsepower from that touring bike. Now we talk about installation on these. This is fairly difficult. Probably one of the most difficult to install products we sell here at Revzilla. I'm gonna call this a three bearder on our beard scale of difficulty. Not impossible by any stretch of the imagination, especially for a home mechanic. However, you do have to pay very careful attention to the instructions simply because you can cause permanent and irreparable engine damage. That having been said, most of you should be just fine doing this, assuming you have a little bit of experience working on something fairly delicate. Let's get right into the kits. We'll talk exactly about what these things are, what they're going to offer to you, and exactly what it's going to take on your end to put one of these inside of your bike. So Vance and Hines obviously has a long and storied history involving racing. These guys know how to make power with engines. So in the old days when you wanted to hop up your bike, you used to have to try all different stuff. Whether you were making it or buying it, you had to figure out a combination that worked for your bike. Oftentimes it led to huge power gains, but most of the time it just led to a mixture of parts that didn't work all that well. So what Vance and Hines has done here is given you some of their R&D, and they've assembled a package of components that's going to give you a guaranteed 30 horsepower. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of stuff and install it and try it out and figure out what's going to work. Instead, this package simply works together. 30 horsepower is a pretty significant gain on a Harley Touring bike. Definitely is something you can feel in the seat of the pants. Um, it, there's a noticeable gain, I think, when you take a bike from stock to outfitted with all the parts you see up here. Speaking of those parts, we'll kind of work down the line, talk about what these things are, what kind of benefit they're going to bring to the table for you and for your touring machine. Starting down here, you can see we have a VO2 air cleaner. So one of the first steps to getting your Harley to actually get up and run a little bit is gonna be to uncork it. That means get some air in and get exhaust out. Obviously behind it, you can see we have a set of mufflers here. We have a set of powered dual head pipes. That's gonna help on the opposite end of the equation, moving the new exhaust gases out of your bike a little bit more efficiently. Now, once you do that, of course, you wind up leaning out the mixture, meaning you need to add a little bit more fuel to compensate for that greater airflow. And that's where the next item comes in, the Vance & Hines FP3. Fuel Pack 3 is a fuel tuner that is unbelievably easy to use, yet also super powerful. I think a lot of you guys are gonna be very, very impressed with how easy these things are to use, how, how quickly they go on your motorcycle, and the range of things you can accomplish with them. It's a super cool product. If you don't know a lot about it, check out our video on these as well so you can learn a little bit more about the tuner itself. But recognize, as part of the package, this really is kind of a, a nice to have thrown in with everything else. Moving down the line, you can see here we have a set of cams. These are 575 cams made by Vance & Hines exclusively for your bike. These are a very interesting cam. Again, cams are sort of the brain of your engine. They sort of help figure out the personality of your bike. These 575 cams are really gonna wake your bike up in the mid-range on up to the high RPM sort of stuff. So if you're the type of rider who's putt-putting around at low RPMs, this might not be your kit. However, if you're somebody who's hot rodding around, you don't mind twisting the wick and burying the throttle on your bike from time to time, hanging on in a gear, these are just the ticket for you. They're gonna build big power throughout the mid-range right on up to the red line. I'd say they come on around 2,500 RPMs and you're just gonna see an increase from there on north. Moving down the line too, and related to those cams, you'll notice here, these are cam bearings. These are actually installed with your cam. Now, because these are an aftermarket cam, they put a little bit more stress on your valve train. Um, rather than use the factory plastic caged bearings, what Vance & Hines has done here is thrown in a set of coil bearings. These are full complement bearings. If you don't know what that means, you can Google it, take a peek. Effectively, they're a little bit stronger. It's a more expensive bearing type than what your bike came from with the factory. They also were able to put up with a little bit more abuse. It's a really nice upgrade. I'm really glad to see them including these in those kits. Again, hit some of the forums. You'll see all sorts of people telling you why you want to look at a full complement bearing. Should be pretty easy to understand once you see some pictures. Moving on, you can see here we also have push rods. These are adjustable style push rods. Specifically, these are included so you don't have to pull down your top end. If you've ever, never had a Harley top end before, especially on one of the big twins, you realize that you have to get the tops off in order to pull out your factory solid push rods. Rather than do that, what Vance & Hines does is include these adjustable push rods. You can simply use a set of bolt cutters to actually cut out your old push rods, and these will install, they'll collapse, and then you re-expand them as necessary. It's a really nice upgrade to have. Um, it makes the installation very, very simple. You don't wind up having to pull fuel tanks or pull the rocker boxes apart. Instead, this is a very quick way to put just as good a push rod, if not better, back inside your bike while really cutting down your labor. 
Speaking of that labor, let's chat for just a second about the installation because that is kind of the, the elephant in the room. I think a lot of people are probably looking at this kit, maybe feeling just a little bit scared. And I can tell you, it's not that bad to put this stuff in. Vance and Heinz includes excellent destructions with your kit. You also too are gonna probably have your factory service manual out if you don't have one. That's sort of my polite hint that you might wanna put your fingers on one in order to do this job. And the other things you're gonna to wanna to have on hand beforehand, but you know, before acquiring this kit are gonna be some, some tools that are gonna help you do the job as well as a couple of other little nice to have. So tool wise, you're gonna to wanna a sprocket locking tool, something that's definitely gonna be a must as far as actually removing your oil pump, your cam support plate there. Additionally, you're probably gonna also wanna put your fingers on a cam bearing installation tool to put those cam bearings in. That's something that is a very specific tool, makes the job very simple if you do have one, but investing in that I think is gonna make your life a lot easier. One of the other nice to haves here too is also a magnetic lifter holding tool. Rather than have to fight with the uh, lifters as you're reinstalling the cam plate, if you have one of those magnetic tools, it holds the lifters up and out of the way, makes things very, very simple. There's workarounds for all of these things if you don't have them. However, if you're not a machinist, you don't wanna make your own tools, buying a couple really can be the way to fly here. Even if you buy all these tools brand new from the dealer, it's still cheaper than paying somebody else to install this stuff onto your motorcycle. The other nice to have item I'm gonna to mention too is probably gonna be something like cam lube. Uh, you're gonna want engine assembly lube when you're putting in this cam specifically. Engine assembly lube really does help keep things lubricated correctly until the oil starts flowing once again. It's very important to have everything properly lubricated when you're installing this stuff onto your motorcycle. One of the other things too, you wanna to keep in the back of your mind, I don't know I'd run out and grab this stuff, but you also wanna take a peek at your cam chain tensioner shoes. That's been a big problem on a lot of twin cams. I think a lot of people are very surprised to see what kind of shape their tensioner shoes are in when they actually crack into that engine. Now I know I've just given you a bunch of information here. Just keep in mind, these are all things that you just wanna have tucked in the back of your head as you start approaching this job. If you leave yourself plenty of time, at least a whole afternoon, if not a weekend, maybe even a week if you have the area to leave your bike kind of pulled apart, you can make it a little bit Bit easier to sort of bite off each one of these pieces and install them as you go. The installation of an exhaust is not a big deal. The installation of an air cleaner, not a big deal. These are all very simple. It's just when you're cracking into the motor for those cams that you either want to have a buddy who knows they're doing kind of looking over your shoulder, or again, you maybe want to check out some videos and also pay close attention to the Vance and Heinz instructions as well as the instructions in your service manual and see where some of the differences occur. That having been said, don't freak out. With the proper tools, it's a pretty easy installation. It's just a little bit tedious, it takes a little bit of time. I think this is a great assembly of stuff. I don't think I'm gonna buy one for my bike simply because I don't have a twin cam. However, it's really nice that people don't have to do a bunch of research. This is a one-stop shop Vance and Heinz has come up with. I really like the fact they've put this together. People can just instantly grab what they need. Bang, you have 30 horsepower. Don't take my word for it though. Click down below, read what some other riders who are rocking one of these on their bikes have to say about it. See what some other people thought about this on their touring machine. If you've got more specific questions that I didn't cover, feel free to get in touch with one of our gear geeks. We have a lot of folks who ride Harley Big Twins here on staff and can help you. 877-792-9455. Or of course, you can always email us, cs at revzilla.com. Now let me, I'm out of here.